So Akiko just released two new project dies this month, and I'm going to make them and show them to you. Up first is the towel topper. So for the main fabric, I'll be using this fun green that has like shallots and radishes and onions on it. And then this will be my accent. For the towel topper, I have already just pre-quilted my fabric. And then this project die is a little bit different than most of their project dies. So there's actually a solid line right here, and you're going to fold your fabric in half and line it up with that line. They did that so that it would fit on a 6 by 12 inch die board. It's going to fit through all of their go cutters, and it's a little more economical that way. It also has printed instructions right on the die board, which I think is pretty cool. And even though it fits through any of the cutters, I will be using my go big today along with my go big die catcher because it's already out on my table. Fold that in half, line it up with that line, and I'm going to cut these individually because this has the batting on it. It's a little bit thicker, so I will cut this and the backing fabric separate so it's more accurate. Next thing we're going to do is actually cut some trim pieces that go along the bottom edge of these before we sew them together. All right, for the trim, we need a three by seven inch piece. So I will just cut a three inch strip here. And I'm just going to do it the same fabric on the front and back. And we're just going to take these and fold them in half and press them lengthwise so that they are one and a half inches by seven inches. And now I'm just going to sew those to the bottom side of each of these pieces. And when I go to press it, I'll press the seam towards the trim on the front and then towards the back piece on the back so those seams will nest when we're done. Got those sewn on, so we have our seam pointing down on this front piece and pointing up on this back piece so that they will nest. And now we're just gonna sew quarter of an inch all the way around. All right, that's all sewn together, turned right side out and pressed. And now we just need to insert our towel. So we want this whole width to fit in here. And there's lots of ways you can do that. You can simply like fold it however you like and insert it. You can fan fold it. I'm going to try to get a little fancy here. And now that I've got my pleats where I want them, I'm going to run a basting stitch on them first. Then I could take all the pins out insert this into the towel topper and top stitch it in place. Last thing we need to do is add our closure and we're gonna keep it real simple and just do a quick snap. All done. In my next video, I'll make a matching oven mitt.